So this is what, uh, how to present yourself uh, in terms of uh, becoming more stronger. What are the different ways and means to become stronger in what? So you divide the entire syllabus into different types of chapters. Some are memory-based, some are conceptual. Some are supposed to be having both memory-based, conceptual and application. So I present you in the first sentence, uh, memory, regular revision of examples. There are chapters like morphology where a number of examples will be there. So you have to actually go through them in a period of one week from now. You have to go through them every time at least once in a week so that you become more stronger in that. And for example, if you take concept, concept, I find regularly from the past 10 days, so many students questioning, what about chemiosmotic hypothesis? How is actually lacoprom able to function? So these things, uh, they make it very important because students lack the conceptual ability in understanding that subtopic. So those you need to actually be thorough. That will come only when you read. If you are not able to understand the concept, you meet a particular learned a learned teacher and ask him to explain and get clear the concept. Once again, go on reading and they become more stronger in the concept. And the third point is uh, this is what most of the students say when they go for an answering of question paper. So I lose marks in arriving at an answer. This comes due to proper lack of preparation and also speedy answering of the question paper. Ambiguity in between two answers. You can't arrive at an answer. You start from your home. You want to reach the college and you say that you will come by a public transport. But when you come onto the road, you go into a three-wheeler auto and go, go come to the college. So that is your mindset is not clear. So you have to be stable while answering a question. Read the question properly. First, eliminate the answers that do not relate to the question. Then peacefully read the question two to three times. Then see which option is leading to the question. Still, if you have a problem in answering that question, think of the options. Why that one will be related to the question. And one of the options will not have some linkage with the question. It's a reverse type of thing. Therefore, you can eliminate it and arrive at a correct answer. That's right. So, yes, the fourth point is what I actually presume to be this year. Expect the new model questions. Expect the new model questions. How can it be a new model question? For example, there is a concept called as what in the sense, uh, say, ascent of sap theory, how water moves from root system to shoot system. The entire synopsis of the theory can be presented in Roman numbers one to five, and you may be asked to arrange them in a correct sequence. Even the steps in replication can be given in the form of uh, different points, and you may be asked to replace them in correct sequence. So that is the new model type of question. And also the diagram based equations can be given. Even to a certain extent that to make the question paper lengthy, like you answer the CBSC papers, a small stretch of three or four sentences in the form of a paragraph can be presented in the neat paper. And you may be asked to read the paragraph to answer at least one or two questions. So it's a paragraph paragraph based type of answer. Because in a lot of the uh, reference books and magazines that you observe, which are there for this kind of preparation, to present it. But it is only to make you understand that as they want to filter the candidate, they will try something different from the other earlier things. Then the filtration will be done when the candidate sees a new type of question. Automatically, the tension of the candidate will go on increasing. Therefore, they will lose time. Losing time creates tension. Therefore, they will mark wrong answers and they will arrive at a low score. That's the meaning.